everyone under the sound of my voice. It's just having a delicious beginning of an extraordinary Sunday. For those of us who uh, are truly into the historical components of Christianity, uh, happy Pentecost Sunday. Uh, And so it is a joy to just be reminded of of the tradition of the Christian faith and all the things that we've been taught. Uh, You know, still unlearning some things, but uh, today is a special day of love and reverence to what we now know is the Holy Spirit that lives in us daily. Uh, I just want to put some of that love in the universe uh, and to just speak very briefly about uh, what for lack of better words, can be a condition in families. Uh, It's very interesting uh, how family history, and particularly with people of color because we've been so detached from our, 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 our organic roots of who we are as family, the family been brought here to this country, we've taken on other people's surnames, if you will, for example, Pritchett, Pritchett, my name, I'm still learning about who we are, ancestrally speaking, what our names were. But right now, all I know is Pritchett. Now, there's a very interesting um, history attached to that name. Separate from what I know as my family lineage. You understand me? And this is, this is prevalent in all across the world. Where people have been plucked from their native land, their homeland, their families, family historical units, and thrust here, slammed here in America, taking on the trade masters names. Well, Pritchett is one of those names, and so uh, I'm saying all that to say there is a lot of history, be it good and or indifferent, all those ugly colors that is a, that is attached to the historical value of that name, particularly my name, because I'm speaking for my my level of understanding, my principles. So that in today's time, we as families living and wearing and occupying our service. It is very vitally important that I'm like you just learning to know as much as you can, as much as we can about the name that we carry. If you're blessed to still have your family name, glory to God. But for those of us who have been given new names in the Americas, project is decades of stuff attached to that name, and all of that stuff is attached to spirit. I'm not gonna be wrong. So, so then, knowing that we are spiritual beings, the more we can understand to the best of our knowledge the history and the spirit or spirits that is attached to that name that we carry. 
It factors in heavily to some of the things, the dynamic, emotional Wherever that lands in the land of adjective to describe, but there are a lot of things linked to the spirit, the historical spirit of that name. So it behooves us in today's climate to explore some of that, enough to know that some of the things that we may be dealing with generationally as a family, some of that is a factor of having been given not only that name, but that bloodline, which carries significant DNA spiritual concerns. So don't be so hard on yourselves right now as a family. If, if you're noticing cycles of things that just keeps reoccurring and reoccurring, we have the power now, glory to God, to take a look at that stuff and then take an immediate look at who we are as the current beings living in that name. And we can then begin to detach and delete and clip away that, hit, that, that spiritual history that has little to do with the current day love and power and understanding of who we are today, carrying the same name. You feel me? Uh, so anywho, I, I, enough about that. Just know that there's a lot of history attached to our surnames. And, and because that blood is still in there somewhere, that spiritual connection still carries over into today's time of living. And so we've got to go deeper within ourselves to correct that and to eliminate to the best of our understanding by faith, whatever that means to you, we can still detach that evil. We can still detach that lie, that distortion and take hold of the richness, the freshness, the power and the anointing of who we are today in 2022. Interesting phenomenon. Is it? Okay, whether you love you, God love you too. I've been in love enough. Remember to love our way through 22. Love your our way. We must, we must love our way through 22. So much more. In our control is our choice making. Love our way through 22. You feel me? Life is full of all And so I choose today to never settle. Never Make it real. It's not real. Remain humble. There is much power in humility. I'm telling you, I still believe the world is in the state that is currently in for the most part because we have lost touch with humility. Trust the process. Uh -huh. Everything we learn, everything we get into, 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 everything we get
trust the process. That's why we have to study to show ourselves approved. Hmm? That never stops. And then blaze a trail. Glory to God. That's the fun stuff. That's the actual living through. Making sure and, and, and trusting and doing all the receptive work to receive the gifts and the blessings and the rewards. So that when God called me home, the betrayal that I blazed remains. You feel me? Okay. Anyway, brother, you love you. God love you too. Do something wonderful for yourselves today and for someone else. And remember, Love your race. Brother, you love you. God love you too. Peace and much love. Au revoir. And, 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 and another thing, remember to uh, check me out. My new EP, Genuine Gold, is in all of the musical platforms. Uh, I would love for you to go and check it out. And then drop me a note. Let me know what you're thinking. Okay? Brother Gill, season of my heart, man. The album is genuine. Okay, peace and love, love. Au revoir. <laughs>